Hello, my name is Rena Banerjee. I'm here today at the Hunterdon Museum. The installation is called She Would Be a Vision of Beauty. And that's the short of the long title. My titles are often long to really talk about the content of the material and sometimes the kind of surroundings that take place in the subject of post-colonial identity and gender. I'm very interested in talking about how the works of women and women's identity um, take hold in this culture of urbanization, how it manages and shapes the way we think of a singular beauty to a global beauty, which is in some sense the world becoming one place. This work, she would be a vision of beauty if only her complexion was whitened as if not to be not, to see her as that which is not, and separately see part of her upon reflection, only as not human, not body, not yet whole, not yet made as illness, as a single flaw with intent to take away, save it with this so to cure, vanish cream, her of ugliness, of oldness, of blemishes, Freckles, moles, and race deliver her as a sign of brightness. Lightness, crown, beauty is a defining system where her otherness could be marked as has been crowned. This is an installation of antique mirrors uh, made in 2019 with a alabaster bust. The stone itself requires you to understand the ideal skin, the skin of the proper normal color and beauty, but also to understand the smoothness and the lack of mobility, the rigidness of the stone and the density of the stone requires you to see the human figure as best when stable, as frozen. In some sense, it is the legend and mythology of Medusa that creates the whole legacy of immobile sculpture. My work as installation tries to create movement in the sculpture, to create a more intimacy between the viewer and what is beheld in the um, three-dimensional experience of the object where the object and the viewer become a system of experiences that leave the room with the viewer and become part of their memory and trajectory. It's really important that in this work that we feel like we are in an enclosure in a room that is a domestic space where the mirrors unfold as decorative objects that create a constellation like stars that reflect back on upon us who we are without ever being caught in the mirror, a kind of anti-narcissistic experience that allows us to see the many in the room versus the one who is the object of the vision of beauty in one single mirror as one person is looking upon the mirror to find themselves in the experience of the narcissist. The anti-narcissist experience is one of complication, of chaos, of mobility, where things, all things, are stirred.